Hey, Komochi's kids, it's Mr. Taylor back with you for another Komochi's lesson. You may notice I am giving you a friendly signal at the start of this video as I smile and I wave to welcome you back for another lesson. I am very proud because I have seen many of you throughout the school building sharing friendly signals like waving, nodding at others, giving high fives or fist bumps or air high fives and air fist bumps. And also, don't forget that smiling can also be a very simple, friendly signal to share. As we mentioned during our last lesson, friendly signals are kind, which is one way we can be Komochi's kids, which remember means we're being respectful, responsible, kind, and resilient. All right, I think it's time for us to give a drum roll on our desks or laps for our fourth Komochi's character. Now, everybody give me a drum roll. And here he is. Here's Cloud. Now, Cloud is a bit moody and unpredictable, just like the weather. When Cloud is happy, he spreads sunshine. But when you turn his head, his face signals that he might rain on your parade. Cloud lives up in the big sky and loves to travel across the Komochi's Way treetops paying visits to all of his friends. Cloud's favorite number is nine. His favorite color is gray because there are so many shades of it, just like his personality. And he loves butterscotch pudding and green tea. He doesn't play an instrument, but he is a great audience member or listener for other Komochi's characters who play an instrument or sing. Now, Cloud feels happy, and here's how you spell the word happy, and here's what happy may look like. He feels happy when all of his Komochi's friends are together. And he feels sad. Here's how you spell the word sad. And here's what sad may look like. He feels sad when he's not included. And Cloud feels mad. Here's how you spell the word mad. And here's what mad may look like. So Cloud feels mad when someone takes his things. He also sometimes feels mad when parts of his day do not go the way that he wanted them to go. When Cloud feels mad, he has a tendency to snap and thunder and rain on everybody's parade. He does not do this intentionally. He can be moody and just has a hard time controlling his emotions. But he works very hard at not being hurtful because as we mentioned before, it's okay for us to be mad but it's not okay to be mean. For example, it's not okay for us to be mean with our eyes like this. And it's not okay for us to be mean with our voice like this or with our words. It's also not okay for us to be mean with our hands or our feet, okay? To help us not to be mean to others, Cloud will teach us how to use a tool called the calm down breath, which helps us feel better so we won't hurt other people. Now, to use the calm down breath, you hold your pointer finger under your nose, just like this, and you say in your head, smell the flower. So you breathe through your nose, and then you say in your head, blow out the candle. So you blow out through your mouth. And look at that, Cloud is already feeling a little bit better. Now let's practice this calm down breath again. Ready? Smell the flower, blow out the candle. Very good. Now we'll do it one more time, but I am not gonna say smell the flower or blow out the candle. You can just think about those things and say them in your head as you breathe in and breathe out. Okay, ready? Let's go. Awesome. I don't know about y'all, but I feel much more relaxed after doing the calm down breaths a few times. Please remember to use the calm down breath when you are feeling mad or upset, and that way it helps us from being mean to others at school or home. By using the calm down breath, we are recognizing how we feel, and we are being respectful, responsible, kind, and resilient. We are grateful for the way that you have all listened during this lesson, 
And I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and week, and we will see you next time. Kamochi's Kids.